but what I was finding is, and if those of you have seen this, the video on the, let me start over. But the, the, you would, for, let me start over. But, Welcome back to Fishing with Vance. Back to Vance's garage. Because uh, I'll show you in a little bit. But if you look outside that window, you probably can't see it. There's snow on the ground. And uh, it's about 30 degrees today here in Pennsylvania. So no fishing uh, for this old guy. Uh, I might try to sneak out one more time if, if we can you know, crack a 50 degree day or something like that. But for the most part, I'll be done fishing for the season. And we'll move it back in here into the garage. So today's video, what I'm going to do is we are going to go over and review the caravan trailer here, the utility trailer that I have for this, for the Pelican Bass Raider. So for the first few years uh, that I had the Pelican, um, I just loaded it in the back of the red Tacoma. If you haven't seen that video, a lot of people have. But if you haven't, go back and check it out if you don't have a trailer. But if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're thinking about getting a trailer. So for your Pelican or whatever else. Now, when I, before I went to get this trailer, the, the reason I bought one was because it was getting tougher and tougher to load um, the Pelican up into my um, Tacoma mostly when I was at the lake. When I was at home, if you watch the video again, um, I could get it pretty low, back and into my backyard, and only had to lift it a couple feet. It wasn't that big a deal. But out at the lake, you know, sloped and things like that, it was tougher to get it up in there. And um, I was, you know, I've had some back problems in the past, and I've been feeling good, knock on wood, but I didn't want to hurt my back lifting the boat into uh, the back of the truck. So that was the original reason why I got this trailer. Now, uh, the, the best thing about this thing that I like is when I get home, um, I can just unhook it off the back of uh, the red Tacoma there and, you know, wheel this thing in by hand because it's not the Pelican's not that heavy and neither is the trailer. So I can wheel it in by hand and just put it over there, unhook it from the, from the, uh, um, the truck and I'm done. I really, I plug in, I'll walk you over here. I plug in uh, to right here in my garage. Here's my, my um, charger. And I can just plug right into the, to the um, battery. I don't even have to take that out anymore. I just hook it up and charge it up. Next time I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. So anyway, excuse some of the mess. I got some junk in here since fishing season's on hold. Uh, storage but anyway so that was the main reason at first was just so I didn't hurt myself putting it in a truck but there's been other benefits a lot like I said the ease of of lo of uh, putting it away when I get home from the lake and um, <clears throat> quite honestly even mo most importantly though it, it is loading it um, at the lake um, the back of I think the back of my Tacoma with the with the uh, tailgate down I want to say it was a good, you know, it was a good three feet. Whereas over here, this is not even quite two feet to lift that in from the ground up. Um, I measured it one other time. And tell you what, let me get my tape measure. I'll measure it again. Hold on. All right, I'm back. So let's see. Yeah, that was close. I said, I said 18 inches is 19 inches. So. Not only 19 inches as opposed to, sorry about this, as opposed to, you know, three feet for my red uh, pickup truck. So that was the main reason why I got it. And it has definitely served that purpose. No question about it. So um, a lot of guys, I get a lot of questions. Guys ask me, hey, will the, will the Pelican Bass Raider fit in the back of my, you know, XYZ truck, whatever they have, whether it's a Chevy, Ford, or Toyota, or Dodge. And um, I usually tell them the measurements between my fender wells and the back of the Tacoma, but, um, and that's fine. But again, you know, 
unfortunately, you know, these Pelican Bass Raiders are tough to find these days. And, uh, but I see they're going way up in price. But uh, for those that are being sold, uh, just because they're so rare, I guess, now, I don't know what Pelican's doing. But anyway, part of the pandemic. But <clears throat> the point I'm making is, is that, unfortunately, these trailers aren't cheap. Now, you know, you can maybe try to find one on, on, um, you know, Facebook Marketplace or eBay or wherever and get a used one, fix it up, and I'm sure it would work just fine. I tried that, and the first handful that I looked at were kind of junky. So then I punted on that idea because I didn't want to take a lot of time. And then I, broke, I ended up getting down to pretty much two trailers. The ones were sold at Lowe's and this caravan trailer that is sold at Home Depot. So... This trailer is 5x8. I, was, I wanted 5x8 because I wanted it to fit in the garage. Anything bigger would have been tough to fit in the garage. Because I do have a little bit of storage back there. And the tongue would have stuck out more. So when I have this thing already pushed all the way in the back, you know, back here, then I still have some room to walk around it, you know, to walk around the tongue so I can get to the fishing equipment and things like that. So... Um, those of you who follow the channel, you see some some fish ended up up on, up on the board, up on the wall up there. There's some old stripers I caught a few years ago, a um, long time ago actually, uh, probably about 10 years ago or so. But uh, actually my wife got tired of them being in my office, so they got demoted to the garage, but probably more appropriate out here. <clears throat> anyway, back to, the, back to the trailer. So be, again, between Caravan at, at Home Depot and Lowe's. And I'm going to walk around this side of the trailer. And, you know, maybe you guys have one from, you guys that maybe have one from from uh, Lowe's. I'm sure it works just fine. But I'm just going to say, for, for me, it came down to the one at Lowe's, you could not re remove the gate. Uh, the gate was welted on the back down here, and you couldn't get that off. Um, you know, now at the time, you know, we talked about, you know, I can get that, you know, we could get it off. We could, you know, smash it off. We could, you know, whatever, cut it off, whatever we wanted to do. But then really, then the trailer was going to be sort of ruined. It wouldn't be able to be used anymore. Well, these caravan trailers, they come, it's, it's, and it wasn't that much difference in price. I get this on sale at the end of the year for about, I believe it was $1,098. So essentially $1,100 for this. And the ones at Lowe's were the same exact price for the 5x8. So, but again, the big difference, first of all, the one at Lowe's, it wasn't built as sturdy as this thing. This thing is very sturdy. And also, it has the sides that all fold down. And um, so if you pull these pins... This whole side will fall will fold down if you want to use this for something else. Maybe you have a you know family member moving or something like that. You want to lay it down or you got something real wide. It works great. But again, back to what I was talking about, I wanted to be able to have the gate because you know if my lawnmower needs taken somewhere or you know just the other day I used it to you know Catter bought a house and moved out and he bought a lawnmower needed me to pick it up and deliver it for him. So back this went this this gate. Can, comes right off very easily and it snaps right back on and it's heavy duty too and also it serves as your ramp you know when you put that on it serves as your ramp to drive the trailer uh, in our case uh, the tractor right back up on there so but uh, it, it works it works great that was the big deal for me and again this thing is very well made it snaps right back on this I actually have this uh this is the bottom it's leaning up against my wall the other way but this apparatus right here this connects to here very very easily too let me see if i can do it with one hand or I'll put this down all you have to do is pull that out like that and then this piece attaches under here and then this just grabs that part and holds the back of the the back of the gate on the trailer works fantastic and um that was just an extra bonus item but the main reason i got this was again because of the uh using it for the for the pelican but you might as well for you know for a thousand bucks you might as well get other uses too 
like I said, you got a family member moving or you, know, you got to take your lawn tractor in or something like that. So uh, that was probably the biggest factor that drove me from the other, from between Lowe's and the caravan at Home Depot. Now, another thing that uh, I really like about this, the lights back here, the tail lights, uh, little Vance here, he, genius, I, I went to load something one time and I didn't have the trailer hooked up to, wish I had that on video, didn't have the trailer hooked up to my truck and the trailer smashed down on the ground, I broke my lights on both sides, I cracked them, they still worked, but they, I cracked them, and uh, so I went to replace them and again, it was, couldn't have been more, you know, easy. I went on Caravan Caravan site, and you probably could have gotten these anywhere, but Caravan had these LEDs that, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, they were plug and play. You put them in there, there's a, there's a harness in there, a wire harness, you just plug them in, and uh, they worked perfectly. So, have had no problems with lighting other than user air. So, that's, uh, that's how that goes. It has running lights along the side down there. And uh, you could see this thing on the on the road, no problem. And um, but uh, let me let me turn my other camera on because I know I can't do this with with uh, one hand. But uh, I'll show you how how we lock it down on here onto the Pelican Bass Raider. So hold on one second. Basically, what I do to put this thing on here is I, I uh, we have I don't have the one for this for the back seat because I think the last time I went I went by myself. But anyway. So we have the utility table that you know everybody's come to come to love. These things, uh, they're the best. But it needs to be held down. This is uh, version 3.0, very light, and uh, probably my favorite one that uh, we ever built. <clears throat> but anyway, so I have basically four ratchet straps that I use. This one would normally go, <clears throat> like I said, on this chair, just like this. But as far as the utility table goes, or I'm sorry, the utility trailer. You know, it makes it simple to tie this stuff down. You know, you got the nice big rails. Now this one, I have it. I don't know if you can see that. This is the one that we use to hold down the battery. Because that battery, I'll show you in a second there. That battery under there, it wants to jump all up and down. So this strap goes across there and keeps that from jumping up and down. And uh, I've actually had it jump up, you know, bounce around on the trip to where it actually impaled the battery. So mounted that piece of board in there and then the pressure on the side of the rails holds that battery from jumping up and down. Also I have it on a, a wood plate in case you didn't see that uh, before that works. But again, just showing you how easy it is to strap your Pelican down once it's on the trailer. So this has pressure, plenty of pressure down that the Pelican probably wouldn't slide off there. But, uh, let me switch back to the other camera now. Okay, got the camera back. So, I was saying, you could just go with the with these and it, and you should be fine as long as you're not doing, you know, Billy Bronco the whole way to the lake, all right? And uh, just taking your time. But, there have been a couple times that I've gone and, you know, maybe there was some train tracks or whatever, and I noticed that the Pelican was sliding back. So, what I did was, <clears throat> I installed these boat buckles, and if, if you haven't seen one on this side, and one on that side, so if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check that out, I'll put it up there, over here, down there, over there, somewhere, probably, probably actually up here, yeah, is how I installed that, and they were really simple to put in, um, but, simple to put in, but absolutely awesome and the way these work if you haven't seen them before these are made for the back of transoms of you know bass boats and stuff but it works awesome like that and then that held this from sliding back on the way to the lake and then when you're there you just lift that up retax right back in and off you go so that is something I added to the trailer, but it installed no problem. Had no, I've had no problems with <clears throat> uh, anything with the with the, the hitch or anything like that. Um, I think I bought this at uh, Harbor Freight um, for the crank, but overall, I couldn't be happier with this trailer. So 
it works beautifully i think for this winter i'm gonna take the boat off of here and uh, give the trailer a good cleaning it hasn't really been clean since i got it um i'm gonna get, give it a good cleaning and then may even do something with these you know with the wood down in here now this thing is stored in the garage so it's not like it's sitting out and that wood's gonna rot <clears throat> but it probably wouldn't hurt me to put something on that um yeah just to preserve that wood so that's pretty much it guys um not much else to say uh it it uh, it's it runs good on the road i the, the biggest the biggest factor again is that gate so that you can use it for other things but it fits perfectly for the pelican bass rig. again this is a five by eight so you do have a little bit hanging out the back but nothing that is alarming especially if you put that boat buckle on there um you know if you're limited for space like me i mean you could go ahead and get the i think they they come uh six by ten which i almost got which would have been nice but it would have been you know even bigger and you know we had a consideration that you know maybe you could run some things in here and uh you know when you're going you could store stuff there for the way out but you can always throw it in the back of your truck so uh, the 6x10 just was going to be too big for in my particular garage. My garage is a little bit short uh, because of our fireplace. It juts out a little bit. So that bay over there um, doesn't have as much room as maybe some of the other guys in your garages. All right. So that's going to be it for the uh, Pelican Bass Raider Caravan Utility Trailer uh, review and uh, just overall discussion. This will be the first of many videos that we come from the garage I'll be doing, I'll be doing all kind of different videos, whether it's uh, you know different reviews. There's some different equipment we use this year that I definitely want to review, and I'll go over that. Some fishing poles that uh, I tried for the first time this year, and um, as, um, some different reels and things like that. Different equipment, different lures. So we'll be coming to you with all of that stuff. It'll be me. So if you have any questions on any of this, let me know. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, and um, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned, and I'll see you next time on FishingWithVance.com. Burn out.